The media cannot stop lying. Before I get into the topic, um, I want to send you to theofficerjackson.com where you can get some merch. We dropped a new t-shirt today. It says, Boots Will Not Lick Themselves. Compliments of Officer Jackson. Okay, get you a shirt, get you a hat, buy anything to support the channel so I can keep spewing out the bullshit that you all support. So, like this video, share this video. Let's get into this. The media is not going to tell you the truth in this situation. So, I'm going to tell you what really happened. You know why? Because I was there. I'm always there. That's why. That's how I always know the truth. Because I'm always there. So, there was a situation at Columbus University where a white student was on the roof and he sniped a couple of people. And they say it's racially motivated. There is no evidence or any fact that it was racially motivated. I didn't see any swastikas or anything. Y'all always want to blame white supremacy. Y'all always want to say everything is racially motivated. First of all, this uh, this college student was mentally ill, okay? He had a history of mental illness. My people even went to his doctor and got his medical report. He was mentally ill. He wasn't right in the head. So to say it was racially motivated, you sound stupid, you sound ignorant. Don't y'all know white people actually freed the slaves? Black people didn't free the slaves, it was white people. I'm gonna continue. This, uh, this thug, there's a thug named Malik that goes to that school also. He was a track star. Uh, him and uh, the, the sniper, uh, his name was uh, Remy, they had some altercations before where Malik was bullying Remy on the regular. Not only was he bullying him, but Malik's group of thugs were bullying him. One of them looks like Ice Cube. They were bullying this man constantly, okay? And once you get bullied so much, what's gonna happen? You're gonna retaliate. Now, I'm not condoning him killing anybody. I'm not condoning him shooting anybody. I'm just giving you the facts. This is a mentally ill person that was bullied, that was tortured by these thugs, okay? And Malik, by the way, got a full scholarship for track. That's what he's good for because in school he could barely read. He was a D student. He got kicked out of school so many times for fighting, but because he can run track, he got a pass. But had he been white, they wouldn't have gave him a pass. If they were white, they would have disowned him. They, they would have cast him out. Because he was white, because they say he was racist. But anyways, y'all not ready for that conversation. Malik got a full scholarship and track. But from my understanding, he wasn't even he wasn't even that good. He was the weak link on the team. Malik was nothing but a troublemaker on campus. He was always causing problems. He wasn't making good grades. He shouldn't uh, personally speaking, I don't think he should have been there. He was bullying this boy, Remy, who was a good kid, a nice kid, got straight A's. He was going to school to be an engineer. He had a, he had his whole future ahead of him. Malik messed that up for him, okay? So now, he's reached his boiling point. He's had enough. He gets a rifle, and he gets on the roof, and he decides to start capping. And like I said, I don't condone him killing anybody, but you never know what a person goes through mentally, and my heart goes out to him and his family. It's unfortunate what happened. Of the people that got shot, one of them happened to be Malik's girlfriend, Deja. Now, Deja was also a track athlete, okay? She was a promising doctor, but she got mixed up with the wrong people. She should, if, if she wasn't with Malik, she wouldn't have got shot because the problem was with Malik, not her. But she happened to be with this thug, and that's why she got shot. So Deja gets shot, and Malik takes it upon himself to take the law into his own hands like he's Rambo and confronts Remy, okay? Now, in this situation, this is what you call law enforcement and they handle it. He took matters into his own hands. He confronts Remy. And he assaults him. He beats him within an inch of his life. He almost killed him. He almost killed him. That would have been murder. And so the police officers show up. And rightfully so, they take Malik and they put the boots to him. They, they stomp him out. As the police officers come, the police officers didn't come for to say, well, he's black, we're going to beat him up. No, they see a man getting assaulted, whether it be white, black, whoever. This is a man being assaulted. They help him out. They take Malik, and they try to peacefully pull him off of him and calmly talk to him, Malik, please. But he's not complying. Not only is he complying, but he's yelling explicit terms out. He's being very violent and belligerent, so they put the boots to him. As a former officer, I would have done the same thing. They stomp Malik out. Remy decides to escape. He He's... He doesn't know where he's at. He's discombobulated. He doesn't know what's going on. 
one of the officers confronts Remy and says, hey, you know, just stop. We're here to help you. Remy doesn't know where he's at. He just got beat up. Okay, if you've ever been beat up, you know, you don't know, what it, you don't, you don't know where you're at. Remy pulls out a gun. The officer's drawing him. The lieutenant stops and says, hey, no, 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 put your guns out, put your guns down. Because he knows he's mentally ill. He knows he's not in his right mind. He tries to talk to him and console him. Remy kills himself, commits suicide. The media wants to say that Remy belonged to a white supremacist organization. The media wants to tell you that this was racially motivated and that he wanted to kill black people. There is not a shred of, of truth, no evidence or facts to support that. There's no white, white supremacy doesn't even exist. Okay, this is America, land of the free, home of the brave. We're all equal here. And I applaud my white brothers and sisters, y'all freed us. Black people never freed us, black people didn't do nothing but be lazy and always want to cry racist and victim. Okay, but y'all don't want to talk about that. Name one black person that freed a slave. Okay, stop believing the fake news. Stop believing the fake media. They will lie to you every time. What I told you is the truth. Why? Because I was there. Because I am the only one that reports the truth. If it comes from Officer Jackson, it's true. If it comes from the media, it's lies. Catch my drift? And by the way, Malik, uh, he's still in school. He, I, honestly, I think he should have been expelled. I feel like he should have went to jail for a long time. Because he had no right assaulting Remy. He had no right doing what he did. He didn't. And he caused his girlfriend to die. Malik is a, a piece of you know what. I don't want to curse because I'm a Christian. Only time I curse is behind the scenes to other black people. But rest in peace to Remy. Rest in peace to Deja. Malik should be out of there. And that's all I have to say about that.